experiencing a lot of stress response and a buzzing feeling at the top part of her neck. So she gets some upper neck stuff, shoulders all the way down into the back, but she has a really tight band between the shoulder blades. So we're gonna adjust between the shoulder blades. But she's holding more of a compression pattern on that side. So we're gonna adjust her by opening back up towards the right to take out some of that rotation. Whew. Between the shoulder blades where I showed you before, she's gonna rock over my hand, which creates a nice back bend in that spot, and we can open that up. Have you take a breath in and out, and tuck your chin down lightly. Let your head drop into my hand. Boom. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dr. Jordan Fairley of The Source Chiropractic. I wanna walk you through what we've been doing with Hannah here. Hannah has been experiencing a lot of stress response and a buzzing feeling at the top part of her neck. As a kid, she was diagnosed with uh, the autism spectrum disorder and dyslexia, and now that tends to present itself with a lot of torsion and torque at the top part of her neck, and when she doesn't get it adjusted, after some time, she starts to notice a lot of stress within her entire spine. So she gets some upper neck stuff, shoulders, all the way down into the back and she gets like this buzzing sensation in her whole body. So we're gonna show you what we've been doing with being able to adjust the top part of her neck, which surrounds part of the brainstem and how that can create ease within her whole body. So I'll have you laying face down first. So as she lays down, I mean, we're looking at the entire body as a whole, even though she is primarily presenting things with the top part of the neck. But as we're here, I can even just see like, is one leg length different than the other? If she is noticing a different side to side, so one leg being short, that could be causing tension going up the entire spine. If there was any sort of torsion of the spinal cord that can cause one foot to flare out. But as I start to pull here, I'm noticing an increase in tension on the left side. So even just seeing how does that traction all the way up to the hip. As I bend her knees, the pelvis will start to rotate. And at the very end range right there, you can see how her hips start to rotate down on the left side. Coming over here, palpating the entire spine, she does tend to carry more tension up here between the shoulder blades. Can I have you pull your shoulder blades together, seeing how the scapula move over the rib cage, and there's more tightness on this left side, back down, and I'll have you look up towards the ceiling. As she looks up, the vertebra here should tuck forward. Up top, lower neck, upper back, that feels super good, but she has a really tight band between the shoulder blades, so we're gonna adjust between the shoulder blades. In the low back, tailbone opens up really, really nice. Can I have you bend your knees again? Seeing how these big SI joints on both sides move and the left side tucks forward. So it's dipping to the left and rotation here. So not that the actual vertebra is rotated, but she's holding more of a compression pattern on that side. So we're gonna adjust her by opening back up towards the right to take out some of that rotation. So I'm gonna have you face this way on your side. As she moves over, we're always addressing the spine in specific tension or compression points, but taking the entire body into account. So I don't wanna see her body twisted or her head falling off the table. But right here, what I wanna do is create ease within her whole spine. I'm gonna go from L5, four, three. So the third to lowest bone in the back, and then, then allowing this to come over into right rotation. Does that feel good? Mm -hmm. Yep. Whew and following that through. So great movement there. What you saw, if you noticed that, it was like a tensioning pattern coming all up to here. So even though I'm adjusting here, we're clearing out the low back and that's gonna help all the way in the top part of the back as well. Can I have you lay on your back? As she moves here, one of my favorite ways to adjust between the shoulder blades is what we call an anterior dorsal. So like this, where she's laying face up. The beautiful thing about this is so many people get a tension pattern where they're rocked and rolled forwards in a tight position. And we can immediately release all of that by adjusting her back into extension. So right between the shoulder blades where I showed you before, she's gonna rock over my hand, which creates a nice back bend in that spot. And we can open that up. Have you take a breath in and out and tuck your chin down lightly. Oh, you hear that? So that was perfect. So that was just allowing all those vertebrae to immediately come back into extension, open up the chest, and relieve a lot of that tension that goes all the way up into the top of the neck. Checking her neck. That very top bone in the neck, the atlas, is what chiropractors often look at as like the most important vertebra because of its relationship to the brain and brain stem. You have a ton of neurology that attaches, or it's in that area lots of feedback and proprioception to the brain of where the body is in space. 
And so noticing tightness of the muscles that attach from the back of the skull to that top bone in the neck on the left side, it feels like that left bone is somewhat rotated on that left side, but let's see how it moves. So if you tuck your chin down, opens up just fine there, come back into extension. That's where you would get a bunching of all the muscles on that left side. Turn your head to the left. Feels really easy with left rotation, turn to the right. And that's where I feel like that bone almost like sticks out at me. And so we're getting tension and tightness with right rotation. So we're gonna address that left, left atlas here. What I wanna be able to do is adjust her where all the musculature is relaxed. So if you push into my hand, see how our SCM, that muscle gets super tight. I don't wanna adjust her like that. So we want everything to be nice and at ease. So if I drop this down a little bit, we can get her head into extension. Let your head drop into my hand. Let your head drop into my hand. Boom. See the breath. Yeah, so that, when done well, can create an immediate relaxation with her, her entire spine and spinal cord. Spinal cord attaches to the top part of the neck, runs all the way down, attaches in the tailbone. And so if we have any sort of twisting there, it can cause a whole host of issues down the entire spine. So being able to adjust that in a nice relaxed state in just the way that it wants can help create a calming effect throughout her entire body. Perfect. You wanna sit up? Uh, how was that experience for you? It was so honoring. Um, the adjustments itself was concise and precise. Um, so peaceful in the calming within my system and bringing that back to ease it was really great. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so that's a, a typical flow at the Source Chiropractic. We can address the entire body, but as we're specifically focused on certain spots, we're taking all of her into account and seeing how can we create the most amount of ease in her body for the ultimate amount of healing to occur. So if this is, looks like something that you'd be interested in, feel free to reach out. We're always here to serve you, and I hope to see you soon. Mm -hmm.